Hello and welcome to tip number 15 of the Generator Genius Series. Today, we'll be talking about the importance of installing and testing sensors to prevent two types of fuel spills. Diesel fuel is considered a hazardous liquid, so its storage is governed by state and federal rules. Tanks that can store 500 gallons of fuel or more must be equipped with two types of sensors and those sensors must be tested periodically to ensure that they are working properly. One type of sensor is called a liquid level limit control. It's designed to make it impossible to overfill the tank. This device will 1. Warn the operator when the tank reaches 90% full and 2. Completely shut off the flow of fuel in time to prevent the tank from exceeding 95%. If fuel is delivered via a rigid hose, there must be a proper means for emptying the contents of the hose into the tank while still not exceeding 95% of the tank's capacity. In addition to detecting spills that occur when filling the tank, there must also be sensors that trigger an audible alarm when there is a leak. These sensors are installed inside the fuel tank's rupture basin, which must be large enough to hold 150% of the tank's volume. As soon as liquid is detected inside the rupture basin, the sensor must trigger the alarm. In most cases, these spill prevention systems must be tested using an approved procedure annually. Those test results must be documented and the records retained for at least three years. We have certified tank inspection technicians on staff, as well as a compliance department ready to help you understand the regulatory requirements like record keeping. If you have facilities located in Northern California, contact us to schedule a compliance consultation. For more tips about how to safely operate and maintain your backup power system, visit us at gotpower.com. Thank you for joining me today. Until we meet again, remember, at CD and Power, we're powering your success.